Good day to you all. For today's video, we are going into question of the week number 62. Now, this for this particular video, um, I'm going to read this question. And um, I won't be going on camera today uh, due to the blazing heat. It is blazing here, and um, I am shirtless here. So um, we're going to just go ahead and uh, make the video in this way for today. So here it is. Moses, I need some advice. Um, should be need some advice, actually. <laughs> I noticed that I'm having the same problem I have for Chinese. Uh, there are things that I would normally say in English that I wouldn't be able to say in the language that I'm learning, which in this case is Italian. I'm not sure how to go about thinking in the language that I'm learning as a native would. And he gives his um, <clears throat> example here. This is his sentence. And then here is, um, I guess this is a sentence that was corrected by the native. Or his sentence was corrected by a native. This is the native's uh, sentence. I know that I am just a beginner. This real quick. I know that I'm just a beginner at this stuff, but what can I do to help myself understand how to think more like a native? Honestly, I feel it takes time, but at the same time, I feel afraid to make sentences spontaneously without making any mistakes. Um, all right, so this is Elijah the Voyager. Uh, thanks for posing such question. Uh, this is very common. Um, you're not the only one. For those those um, who haven't really um, learned a language before, first time experience, first first time experience language learners, um, this is very normal. Okay, um, as a beginner, you're not going to uh, possibly be able to think in the language like a native. It takes time. Um, my advice uh, will be to continue doing working through sentences, uh, text. Um, you have to use material, of course, um, that are um, done by native speakers. They have to be um, conversation that you would, you would normally hear native speakers of Italian uh, use. Uh, this is very important. You're going to have to follow those texts for uh, some time, make up your own sentences, and then practice those sentences with a native speaker. This is just an exercise that you will have to do um, until you become accustomed to the language and the way that people think. Um, you're not, you have to make sure um, it's good to make them sentences, but you also want to make sure you're practicing with the native speakers so you can see how they respond. Um, you could do this by going to a chat room uh, at the beginning stage if you're just starting off. Um, you have time to read their sentence and, you know, copy it down and study it later. But it's very important to interact with the native speakers so that you can see how they say certain things, then you can mimic. So this whole process is going to be all about mimicking, um, you know, copying off the native speaker, essentially. Uh, this is something that I normally do uh, when I learn languages. Um, trying to make sentences spontaneously, you're going to have some problems at the beginning stages because you're not accustomed to the language. You're going to make a lot of mistakes. You're not you're going to sound unnatural. So um, I will advise just following text, create your own sentences and you know try those sentences out on a native speaker as time goes by you'll feel that you're making a lot of progress and things just start to click um, this is just how language works so um yeah i wouldn't worry too much uh, just be patient continue to uh, have fun with the language interact with the native speakers um you know and work from i'm not sure what resources you're using right now but whatever resource you're using make sure you um work you're working through the text paying close attention how words are structured um, not really study grammar but just pay attention to where um, certain words are and then create your own sentence now when you create your own sentences um, the only thing that you will be able to do without making making any um, uh, major mistakes is uh, keywords looking up certain keywords not not sorry not keywords I'm sorry uh, certain vocabulary um, Certainly, and you could use a dictionary. You can even use Google Translate uh, to use certain vocabulary. But when it comes to structure, grammar, um, you got to use you got you got to use um, uh, Google Translate with caution because it's not it's not 100 percent accurate. So I will follow the text that you that you have and create sentences based off of those texts and then practice with native speakers. 
So again, you have to be patient. And um, as time goes by, you will make steady progress, but you have to stay consistent. And um, yeah, in contact and in, in, in interacting with uh, the native speakers. So again, first, you can go to you can use a chat room to practice this stuff. Then once you start to become more comfortable, then you can go out, go to an Italian restaurant or, you know, some cafe or wherever you you can find uh, Italians and, and practice what you've been learning um, during the week. OK, so that is that. Um, that's just how there's really no shortcuts around this. Um, you're not going to be able to think in the in, in the language as a native would until after you have had enough exposure with the language. So exposure is very important. Um, that is it. I hope I answered your question thoroughly. Uh, if you have any questions, any other questions or anyone else, uh, let me know and um, I'll set you up for another question of the week. That is it. You guys have a great one.